box for Charles and now I made one for me I'm going to install it today thanks for watching would you tell our audience what it's like to do intros <laughs> when I'm filming you I just get tickled and I, this is not my favorite thing to do right in the world. And she adds things like she goes I'm getting ready to make this box it was done and it's already made yeah so anyway it's we have a strong marriage because we're surviving filming intros and what's going on up there we better stop. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Uh, I'm making the grooves in the little cabinets I'm making. I yep. forgot to uh, do it before I glued them together. Oh, that's... So luckily, it was big enough that I could still yeah. do that. All right. That's where you put the foot. Did you say good enough? Mm -hmm. They're listening to you right now, and you said good enough. <laughs> That's not my shirt on backwards. Oh, woohoo! Okay, one more. I discovered that how you put the clamp on, it can lean it one way or the other. Blue is awesome. I guess if it's okay on the ends, it should be what you're doing now. Should be. Okay. Well, what's happening? Holy moly! I have a lot to say about this. What yeah. are these? Tell them what they are. This is the front, well, it's actually the front of the little cabinets. And you'll see I put a painted board behind it. I thought it would look really cool, but the first one looked really cool. The third, the second, third, and fourth are getting very annoying. I could have just painted the thing and left it, but it's been hours. I first started out making the holes with the drill, not planning where they're going, and it was a mess. I had to throw away. So then I planned where they went, and now I have to sand and sand, and then... It's just the life it. of an artist. <laughs> I already have it marked where I want to put it, and so I'm just going to go ahead and put the brackets on, and then screw it into the wall. I'm going to spray the cardboard first. I should have done this all at once. I don't know why I didn't. You just got excited about the bee because we switched from the bee from the dragonfly to the bee. That's my choice. Out of I, guess I, I guess I want to waste masking tape. Yeah, there's lots of masking tape trees. Oh, is that cute or what? That is very cute. Okay, now, is two enough? I think so. I don't think we want it to be busy. I'm tempted to put another little tiny one. Above it? No. I can. We'll have that discussion later. Right oh. here? I don't know. It's probably fine. We'll, we'll get back to y'all folks. <laughs> So 
we decide on one one more above. It's like the Indiana Grandma Moses. Getting braver. <laughs> Okay, I think, perfect. That, I think that's a good little flower field hatch. It's perfect. Okay, all right, you did the good. The funny thing I noticed from back there is they look, the whole cabinet is like leaning, which is, that's just how the van is. Charles, a whole empty uh, canvas. No, 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 no. We're, you would say that about the outside of the van. Just do the finish <laughs> of this part. Okay. Well, I finished this, and now let me show you how I finished up the cargo door screen. Uh, Mrs. Moman? Yes. <laughs> you seem to be in a new sewing room. It's lovely out here. It really is. Actually, it's hot, but... Well, but it's better than on the driveway. Oh. I'll swing around here. We have a lot of shade back here. Not here right now, but most of us, this is all shade until just an hour or so ago. So I just moved the van. And I set up. And uh, product placement, there's the EcoFlow Delta <laughs> running her sewing machine so we don't have to run a cord to the back here. So here's the back screen that she's already got finished with button magnets and Velcro and it's all working really well. Well, my wife got up before me and I come out here, it looks like she's running a mobile RV repair service. Well, it's going to rain in a few hours. Right. And I, I plan on getting this done. My so, sewing machine wasn't high enough yesterday, so I put these and lifted it up so I don't have to pull the bell code and pull it down every time. The screen is almost done. Just a few little tiny things. Charles bought me a screen that is exactly like the one on the back. It was made for patio door. So what I did, I started in this corner and went over as far as I could. And uh, I'm talking about how to cut it out. Um, to, to Velcro it over here which this is the center. If I centered it, obviously the center would have been here. Everybody knows that. So, so I cut off a lot more over here. I could cut off none over here. Um, I did the same Velcro on the wood where I could, and where I couldn't, I used the magnets again. I put Velcro on the cabinet here and down here, and then cut it down. Uh, on this side, of course, you have to cut like a a rounded corner which doesn't look very good I, but it's it's good enough <laughs> and then velcro on the metal down here what i did down here i let it come down to to this metal but if i want it to be really tight and we're outside i can stick it in here but that wouldn't be super convenient because when you open and close it it's going to go back here which is fine So uh, with with it not attached to the magnets, it's still it's still going to keep out the mosquitoes. And when you come out, you can just walk away, and it will still attach. Okay, well, mostly. Might want to turn around and fix it. So here you can see Susie has Velcro, and she has white Velcro there so it doesn't show. And then all across, and then magnets are taking care of the rest down there. So it's going to work out. Okay, we've got the screens done. We're happy with how they turned out. Got a little bit, uh, got to put the magnets in the trim here to hold the bottom together. And I have to put a little hook at the top to hold up that um, screen. And that's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>